In this video with the Anking, I'm going to show you how to control Anki with your voice. It's kind of cool, essentially hands-free Anki. Uh, now there's two parts. This is there's the Mac, iOS, and then there's the Windows. Check the description if you want to skip ahead to a certain part. Uh, in Mac, you're going to go to System Preferences, then the Accessibility menu, and then Voice Control. And I found that uh, you can do Press Show Answer or Press Again. Um, however, after my last update, it's kind of inconsistent. I found it sometimes works better to do press return key or click or to make my own custom ones. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, on Windows, you're going to search Windows speech recognition and then you can type or say enter or press one or click one, something along those lines. You may have to experiment a little bit to find something that works best for you. So here we go. I'm gonna show you all the fun tricks. All right, so the trick here, first you're gonna to wanna to do is open the system preferences, which on a Mac, you're gonna to go to the Apple and then system preferences. And you're going to click on, let's see right here, accessibility. And then you'll go to voice control. And you're gonna enable voice control. So this is essentially, yep, it's gonna pop this thing up here. Put that over here for now. And you can turn it off, wake it up. And then right here, if you wanna explore this, you can click on commands. And there's all sorts of different commands here, different things, so you could read through that and what to do. You can see I've made some custom ones here, and I'll show you in a second. You'll see that some of these do not always work all the time, uh, but I've made some custom ones that seem to work a lot better. So here you can see I've added a keyboard shortcut for whatever reason. Macs don't let you just use the number one, unfortunately. So I made this shortcut, and then I added that to my uh, custom keyboard shortcuts, and that's the shortcut that it uses so, uh, when I say the word again. So you can kind of play with this, like for example, flip uh, is to flip the flashcard to show the answer essentially. So anyway, we'll get out of here. You can see this is on there. We're gonna go into here and go into a flashcard and give this a shot. Now, uh, like I said before, you can say show answer and it'll kind of work, but I'll give it a shot here and it probably is not going to. Show answer. Press show answer. All right, you can see it just, it's not great. <laughs> but if I use the return key, that tends to work better. Press return key. There you go, you can see that it flips over. Now notice that I'm kind of pausing. If you're just saying a sentence and I said again, like it, chances of it actually catching that are not good. Whereas if I pause and then say it, it tends to work better. Again. So, it, you know, it kind of works well. The other thing I found uh, that's pretty good is clicking. So if you kind of put your cursor over where the good button is, then you can just say click over and over. So for example, click, 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 click. There you go. So that's kind of an example of that. Uh, now let's move on to the iOS on the iPhones and I'll show you it's kind of the same process. You're gonna kind of customize it. Okay. First step here is we're going to go to the settings menu. Then we're going to go down to the accessibility menu here and then voice control. And then you're going to want to make sure that voice control is toggled on. And then you're going to go to customize commands and you can mess with this if you really want to. I thought it was easier to just make a custom one. So the flip command here means when I say flip, it's going to tap right here on the screen. So let's make a new one. We're going to do right here when I say wrong wrong okay and for the action we will do run custom gesture tap right there on the screen click save and for the application we will do Anki I'll come back and save it so now we have these two commands flip and wrong which theoretically should tap right here and right here on the screen Okay, now we're gonna go into Anki and give this a shot. Go to this deck I have here, and we'll try this out. Flip. Wrong. Flip. Flip. And there you have it. That's how it works. Okay, so it's pretty easy on Windows. We're going to type here. You'll just search Windows Speech Recognition and open this app here. I actually already have it open right here and I have it set up. And now I'm going to get it to start working by saying, start listening. 
you'll notice it turns on there. Oh. Start listening. Start listening. There we go. Now we got it working. Okay. Hopefully you got a good laugh out of me trying to get the computer to listen to me. All right, so we're into my cards here, and now we want to do this, and the easiest way is to say, enter. Press 1. Enter. Press 2. Enter. Press 3. Enter. Press 4. So, quite simple. And when you're done with this, you can say, stop listening. And it'll turn off. So, that's all there is to it. Thanks for learning with the On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here, as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnKingMed. Also, feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, onkingmed.com, for more tips and tricks.